We all recognize the education policies and systems have often been used as a means to, the systemic, to systemically discriminate against indigenous people, assimilate them into the broader society, and thus destroy their culture, languages, identity, and rights, and displace them of their lands, territories, and natural resources. And we continue to see the, re the repercussions of such policies, such as in Canada over the summer. For the last three decades, many states have addressed or attempted to address problems of intercultural bilingual education. However, sadly, these education systems, policies, and curricula are rarely developed with Indigenous peoples' participation or consent, and as a result, have mostly failed Indigenous children and continue to, to deny them vital life opportunities and cultural security. Indeed, in the case of Belize, there is government support for bilingual intercultural education, and there are currently two schools for the Maya and the Garifuna people. But there are challenges because despite teachers being paid, they have been unable to work in partnership with parents to address the policies and curricula that need to be developed for cultural education. Lamentably, quite often the teachers are not qualified to teach indigenous people and continue to use mainstream methodology. In my experience, the teachers have been the ones to push back on, on indigenous-led education, 